So if I were you, what I would do is you, if you if you said you had issues with budgeting, this is what I recommend. First of all, I recommend making like a full list of every single bill you have, uh, insurance included. I mean, any miscellaneous or small thing that you can find, I would put that in there, right? But what I would also do is I would put the debt, the minimum payment debt in your budget too, which is 152.76. And then what I would do is I would automate my bank account to automatically have 152.76 set aside every single month without fail. And then I would put that into each, whatever debt category it is every single month. And then whatever one has the highest one. So I, I would shoot for capital one first for sure any extra money you have, let's say you're not sure how much you can do over right now. So right now I would say go 25 over or 50 over because that's going to knock it out quicker and quicker and quicker. And as you gain momentum, you'll see what you feel comfortable with doing. Uh, the second thing, your savings, uh, you've got to pay yourself first. I don't know how your bills are set up, but I would at least set us, I would at least try to set aside a hundred dollars a month. Right. And I would also set that as an automation too. I might even separate the savings accounts. So something uh, you could look into is maybe like a, a high yield savings account because you know bank accounts really don't gain interest that much. So there's something like uh, what I use personally is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And they have like a 1.2% interest rate right now. And it's been increasing every month. So now it's like 1.5%. Okay. That'll help you gain a little bit of money just as you're saving. So you'll have that reward there. Um, and those are the two things I would focus on. And then once you get out of debt, that's when I would go for the car. Right. With mm -hmm. the car, how, how can I survive with or how can I get around transportation wise without a car? So I would look into the bus schedules. I would look into maybe an alternative like a bike or something. I'm not sh I'm not sure how far your work is or anything from like where you live. Like 12 so, minutes, yeah. 12 minutes? Okay. Yeah, so I would I would look into bus routes. I would look heavily into those things. Of course, these things aren't like ideal, but as you're like grinding and as you're saving up and everything, that's what I would look into doing. There's a few options you have. It's gonna be hard though. But I would I would definitely look into the bus. It's probably gonna be your cheapest option. In my opinion. Okay. Um, so, how, so I know I just gave you a lot. How, what do you think so far of all of this? Uh, so, so far, I think I feel a little bit better about what's this next month, at least um, with the budgeting. I, I'm going to go through and make that plan, go through, check all those bills out. And uh, I'm looking to get an idea uh, uh, how to get around without a car because I've never done that before for real. I, it'll be different. Well, I'll tell you, um, I think I think you can get yourself out of this. And luckily, you're not in a ton of debt. Like I thought when you said a lot of debt, I thought you were going to say like 20,000 or something plus. But it, you know what I mean? So you're, you're not in a super bad situation. Um, do, do you know if your income is going to increase at all once you go into the career you're talking about? Yes, it, it'll increase. And next month, actually, I'll, I'll move up to there's different ranks, CO1 through five, and I'll move up to CO3 next month, but it'll be a small increase. And you know what, with every small increase you get, that's another, that's when you change your budget. So every time it increases or every time you feel more comfortable with something, that's when I would recommend changing your budget. And there's a specific video. I don't know if you've seen it, you may have, but I would recommend watching it over and over again until you really have like a solid plan that you feel comfortable with. I have a video called how to master budgeting and saving money. That video, I have like visuals and everything and I break down everything around. It's like probably like a 30 minute video or something, but okay. it will actually give you good mindset and good application on budgeting as a whole. Please check that out. Thank you. Absolutely. So last question, um, your bills, do you have like a lot of bills? I don't have very many bills. Uh, I have a number. Let me see. I have a phone bill, a gym bill that I got into a, a contract for accidentally without realizing it for two years. And that's $30 a month. Mm -hmm. And then I have Spotify, which is $11 a month. And that's it. I don't have any streaming services or anything. Oh, man. Hold up a second. So what I heard was 70 was that 70 for the gym membership or third? No, I'm sorry. That's 70 total between the gym membership and the, and the phone bill. And then mm -hmm. you have $11. So that's $81. 
a month. And so then your rent is 542. And so then your debt is 152.76. So we can we can do this right now and just play a scenario real quick. And then I throw in about 600 for food and like 200 for gas usually. Okay, 600 for food, you said? And how much for gas? 200, but I won't have a car. So I guess we don't need that for this month. (laughs) So you just kind of, I don't know if you realize it, but you kind of solved some of your problem right there because if you really consider the fact that you can really put away an extra $200 a month now, you can then start your car savings account. So uh, you could use your regular savings account or you could use something like capital where you get to separate what you're saving for. So like it's called capital with the Q and it's an app that lets you save for like anything. They're called sinking funds. So it's, it's stuff like you can save for like a car, you can save for a TV, you can save for whatever you want. And you can name the categories and it has these little bars at, at the bottom of it and it shows you how close you are to your actual goal. It's really cool. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah. also put that in the in the email if you're interested. It does cost like I think five dollars a month. But what I'm hearing is at the very most, even if you had a car, which right now you don't, so we can technically subtract that from this fifteen seventy five seventy six. So here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to go cold turkey just yet. But what I would recommend is pretend as it, so. We're gonna subtract that. We're gonna do twenty six hundred. Minus 1576, ah, 1575, 76, right? Because there's always the human error in that you might have miscalculated something or I might have. So we're going to pretend like everything is the way it was. And this is how much you're going to be paying. This is where the budgeting is really handy. So we're going to do 2600 minus that number. What I have is $1,024.24. So we're going to just start fresh, cut that in half, pretend like we're drastically overestimating this number or underestimating this number. That is $512.12 besides your bill. So the two numbers I'll recommend automating. Does your bank account have a checking and a savings account that you can see at the same time or are they like completely separate? Uh, it has them together. Okay. So there's an option. You just have to look into your settings. There's an option. And if you can't find it, you just have to call somebody up. But there's an option where you can actually automate your check into your savings. And you can you can definitely like if you made a mistake, you can move it back to your checking if you need to. But this is going to prevent you from having to like borrow or take out a loan. So what I recommend at the beginning of every single month, I would recommend taking five hundred and twelve dollars and twelve cents exactly and sending it to yourself automatically. Okay. Into your savings account and and don't touch it at all and unless you like absolutely need it. But you're gonna what what this is gonna teach you is you don't actually need that and you can actually do twice that amount if you really wanted to. But I want you to fill it one piece at a time so you can still feel a little bit of freedom with with spending and things of that nature. But also you can save an extra two hundred dollars on top of that for your car okay. because you know what I mean. But Right now, we're just going to start with the 512. And then what I recommend is uh, if you want to add to it, you can start with $50 increments or like $200 increments because you do have an extra $200 to play with now. And if you if you do that, you'll be on your way. And then um, the last thing I have for you is with food, $600. See what you can do to reduce that. Do you really need that amount in food or can you cut back? on the food and still have the same amount of like nourishment, basically. Like I would, I would think that way. I'll try to work on that. Uh, I'm not any good at cooking, so I'm still in the process (laughs) of learning to do it at home and everything. So I think I definitely can cut back on that. It's just going to take some time with the recipes and stuff. (laughs) It's all good. It's all good. But y'all, I'll send you all this stuff in the email. Um, And if you can, uh, while you're doing this and as you're growing, this is going to help you out a lot. Uh, any book you can get your hands on about personal finance, definitely, definitely read it. Um, and it could be something like Dave Ramsey. It could be something like Robert Kiyosaki, but just whatever you can get your hands on. What I'm saying is you want to educate yourself because your your financial situation isn't always going to be like it is right now. It's going to improve for sure over the years. And you're going to make a lot more and you're going to want to, you're going to want to know how to like manage your taxes you want to want to learn like where you can put your money to make it grow for you and stuff like that and 
you know, right now what you're doing is good. You're understanding your situation and you're figuring out how to budget and everything. But once the budget is tight, once the savings are good, and once you're out of debt, now it's time to go to the next step. Okay, where do I put this extra money that I'm getting? And, and you want to think in that way. So that's all I have for you today. But uh, did you have any questions or anything? Um, well, I have one question. I was wondering about your book, sir. Uh, huh? Is it coming out in this, this year? Yes, sir. It's coming out uh, in 15 days. Okay. Yeah, that was all I was wondering, sir. But thank you so much for your help, sir. I feel a lot more comfortable about this coming month now. Absolutely. You are very welcome. And um, if you're curious about the book, what I can do is I can just send you a link. I have an email list so that basically everyone who signs up for the email list, they'll get a notification as soon as the book is released. And it's coming out in ebook, paperback, hardback, and audiobook. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. And um, yeah. So if you have any more questions, you can definitely book another session. But uh, I think this was really productive. Okay. Thank you, sir.